after he rose early on the first day of the week, Jesus appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went out and told those who had been with him while they were mourning and weeping. But when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they would not believe it. They're not going to listen. I can tell you that now. They've always been suspicious of me, right from the start, wondering what Jesus was thinking of getting mixed up with someone like me. I know what they'll say. You mark my words, making it all up, wanting to be the centre of attention as usual, a lovesick fool. Not that I can blame them. It didn't do his cause any good, after all, when I came along. A few tax collectors those Pharisees could stomach, but me... I really put the cat among the pigeons. I know how the tongues wagged, how easy it became to criticise. Maybe I should have stayed away, kept my distance. But I loved him. No, not in the sense they meant with their sly, dark innuendo. But deeper. With everything that I am, everything I've got, in a way that I've never loved before. Yet not even the disciples really trusted me. I know that. They found it hard to accept, hard to forgive what I'd been. And I can understand that. Let's face it, I'm finding it hard to forgive them for running away, failing him when he needed them most. But what I hold on to is those words from the cross. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. He understood we all fail him that we're all unworthy, none of us perfect, yet he forgave us and loved us despite that. I thought I'd lost him, the only one who ever truly accepted me. And I was reconciled to struggling on alone, no one to understand, no one to offer their support. But I was wrong, for he came to me. There in the garden, overwhelmed by my grief, he came to me and hope was born again. Not that I could believe it at first. The voice was familiar, the face, the eyes, but I told myself it couldn't be, that it had to be the gardener, anyone but Jesus. And they'll do the same. I'm sure of it. Tell me I got it wrong, that I'm overwrought, ready to believe anything. They won't listen. I can tell you that now. But then I'm used to that, aren't I? And it doesn't matter anymore, for he's accepted me as he's accepted them, as he accepts everyone who's ready to respond to his love and receive his forgiveness. Loving God, 
We thank you for the great victory we celebrate at Easter. The victory of Christ over evil, over sin, over hatred, over darkness, over death. We praise you for the assurance it gives of new life and forgiveness. So now we confess our faults. We acknowledge our weakness. We recognise our faithlessness. And we confess all to you, confident of your love and certain of your renewing, restoring power. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> 